Good evening from BBC London News. I'm Alice Bandukravi. Computer hacker Gary McKinnon, who's facing jail in America for breaking into military computer systems, has had the threat of immediate extradition lifted. His high court hearing was adjourned after the new Home Secretary, Theresa May, decided the case should be reviewed. Our Home Affairs correspondent, Guy Smith, reports. He was naive and he was certainly obsessive, but a criminal? Well, that's for a court to decide, either here or in the US, where he could get up to 60 years in jail. Right now, Gary McKinnon faces extradition to America for hacking into their defence systems. His mother says the eight-year legal battle has taken its toll. But today's announcement by a new Home Secretary to reconsider his case offers a glimmer of hope. It is good news, but it's not over. And until we actually hear the words that Gary is to be tried here, we can't relax. Gary McKinnon admits breaking into 97 U.S. military computers from his flat in Crouch End, apparently looking for evidence of UFOs. His family says he has a form of autism and the long extradition process has affected his mental health. To be physically taken in chains on a plane, taken abroad, locked up in a high security prison uh, with the violent criminals, the terror of it, Gary would rather be dead than for that to happen to him. McKinnon's case is controversial. Critics say the current extradition agreement between Britain and the US is unfair, making it easier to be extradited to America rather than the other way round. Nick Clegg has previously said it would be a complete travesty of justice if uh, Gary was extradited. David Cameron has said that we need to show com compassion to him. Chris Hune has always been very supportive of Gary's case. Um, and all those people are now in power and we would ask to, them to hold them to their promises that they've previously made. And tonight, the new government confirmed it was carefully considering its extradition arrangements. Gary McKinnon's case has crossed the desk of six home secretaries. Could the latest news be the breakthrough he's been waiting for? Guy Smith, BBC London News.